Okay guys, today may dumating tayong box and ito yung matagal natin hinihintay actually uh, it was uh, back ordered nung uh, kinuha natin to so finally dumating na rin siya so ito yung hinihintay natin na red dot which is the Holosan 507C version 2 so pasensya na sa background ko kasi nasa garahe kasi lahat ng dumarating na item natin iniiwan muna natin dito for a while and then just to make sure sinasanitize natin yan at paumanihin din dahil isa lang kamay ang mm, gamit ko. So anyways, so uh, I will try my best para mabuksan to na maayos. So, yan ang Holosan 507C. So, mamaya ikakabit natin yan. Pero, kailangan muna natin siyang isanitize kahit na silyado siya. Okay, tara, samahan nyo ako para sa installation ng uh, Holosan 507C. Okay guys, so ito na yung Holosan natin. So, nasanitize natin siya. So, safe na tayong buksan to ngayon. So, yan yung lalagyan. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang ganda ng quality, pati nung lalagyan. Actually. And then, itinago ko nga yan. So, pwede natin lalagyan ng kung ano man. So, anyways, yan yung manual. And then, yan na yung mga screws na pwede mong pamilian later on. So, and then, ito yung actual na unit. And then, yung kanyang uh, screws or pamihit. And then, the battery. So, bakit Holosan ang pinili ko? Uh, simply because, mas mura siya. Maganda ang quality. And at the same time, uh, since iba na yung version niya, which is the version 2, meron kang dire direct access sa side. So, kung just in case malobat yung battery niya, hindi mo na kailangan baklasin lahat. Unlike yung mga traditional na red dot. So, ito yung a uh, Glock 90 natin. So, ito yung uh, isa sa build, build, build project natin. So, tatanggalin muna natin yung yung uh, cover na para doon sa lalagyan natin ng uh, red dot. So, anyways, uh, pakita ko lang sa inyo kung ano yung nasa manual. So, So, ituturo niya kung paano lagay yung battery and everything, installations and everything. And then, I suggest don't use yung, uh, huwag niyong gagamitin yung masyadong mahabang screw na kasama. So, dapat yung maliit lang enough to secure the the red dot. The, so, use the shorter one. So, so wala siyang problema. So, siya yung, H, yan yung model, HS507C. So, that's the model, the, the exact model number. And it's a version 2. Ang maganda pa sa kanya, actually is, uh, meron siyang solar panel, uh, solar panel for solar charging. So, yan yung uh, installation guide para sa red dot natin para uh, sa ating uh, Glock 19 slide. So, yung Glock 19 slide pala natin, ito is uh, Alpha V6. So, binili ko siya na na nakakat na. So, it's ready for uh, red dot. So, medyo kung papansin nyo, nag-struggle ako doon sa unang uh, pagtanggal. So, inalis ko muna. Kumamit tayo ng mas mahabang uh, pantanggal. So, kung papansin nyo, mas madali na siya ngayon. So, yan yung uh, cover. So, punasan lang natin. Alisin lang natin yung excess oil mamaya. Bago natin ikabit yung ating red dot. So, para hindi magkahiwa-hiwalay for future use, ilalagay natin siya sa, sa maliit na ziplock. 
and then I'll make sure na masisigure natin yan. So, yan yung mga kasamang screws ng ng ating uh, red dot. So, pasensya na kayo at uh, ngayon lang ulit ako nakapag-upload. But, so kung mapapansin nyo, sinusukat ko yung yung screw na kasama. So, yan yung mahaba, which is hindi yan yung gagamitin nyo. Not that one. So, you need to use the shorter one. So, so, ganyan natin siya ikakabit. And then, kung papansin nyo, pinipili ko pa rin yung screws na dapat natin ilagay. So, yung iba kasi nakikita ko, may mabasa ako na nagkakaroon sila ng problema simply because they uses the longer one, which is not supposed to be. So, again, behind the scene, uh, nakapamili na ako ng uh, gagamitin natin. Like what I said, we need to use the shorter uh, screws which is enough to secure the red dot on top of the slide. So, why Holosan 507C? Again, it's cheaper, more features than the other brand, and then at the same time, you have a uh, direct access to the battery from the side unlike the traditional one you need to remove the entire red dot so kung papansin nyo nagdagdag ako ng uh, Loctite natin just to make sure na secured talaga yung pagkakalagay natin sa red dot natin then we will do the same thing with the other one so just put a little bit of uh, Loctite it's for uh, security purposes so So, yung pinamimihit natin is, again, kasama siya sa package. So, make sure it's tight but not too tight. Okay? It's better if you have the torque wrench. So, it's a hand tight only but not too tight. Okay? So, that's how we install the red dot and then the last and the final step is of course the installation of the battery so I tried to google and look for how to install the battery so I learned it the hard way so I don't want to force to do anything or unscrew the side side screw from for the battery compartment but you just need to turn uh, to turn it uh, counterclockwise yeah that one so kung papansin nyo uh, pabalik-balik ako iniisip ko kung paano ko siya uh, aalisin so so yan so tinatry ko clockwise which is it's already tight so it means to say you need to do it counterclockwise see and then now you you can access now the battery compartment 
so this is one of the reason why I choose this kind of model because most of the model out there you need to remove the entire red dot just to install the battery unlike this one you have a, a uh, direct access from the side and then uh, for added information according to the information that I got from this box it was uh, already zeroed from uh, 25 yards and I tried it uh, firing my Glock 19 with a red dot and you can tell that uh, it's already uh, aligned so I did nothing for for uh, realignment or what so so it's really up to you kung uh, kung ano yung uh, mas gusto mo kasi for me I let it uh, I let it na 25 yards yung yung uh, yung yung setup niya because you can uh, you can for sure you can fire or hit the target from 5 10 15 or even 20 yards easily so and in reality if you need to use your gun maybe from 7 to 10 yards lang so again naglalagyan ko siya ng lock tight just to make sure na na fully secured yung battery compartment because if something goes wrong it will be really hard for you to get the the screw for this thing so lock tight is the way is the better way to secure the screws and make sure it is locked again it should be tight but not too tight And then for you to turn on the red dot, just hit the plus or minus button. And then if you want to turn it off, hit it, hit the two button at the same time. If you want to increase the the light or to make it brighter, just hit the plus sign. And vice versa, if you want a smaller dot or to make it lesser just hit the minus sign so there is a plus and minus button so again that's how we installed the red dot and now we are done so I'm trying to show you the red dot see you can as you notice it's already centered and again it was a factory setup from 25 yards so again, I did nothing to to readjust the site, so it was done easily. Thank you guys, and, and please like, share, and subscribe.